Hey horse lovers, welcome back to Free Spirit Equestrian. So today I drove about three hours from Michigan to the Mount Hope, Ohio, Mid-Ohio Horse Sale. So they have a specialty sale every spring and I am so excited to bring you along with me today. Now I am looking for a lesson type horse. So that is what I'm sticking to. I'm really excited to see all the horses here today though and show you around. So right now they have the pony sale going on. It's the late evening. The main sale is tomorrow. That's the one I'm most interested in. Lots of draft crosses, riding horses, all different types of breeds. So tonight we're just going to go browse around and see what's going on. And then tomorrow we get serious. I'm also flying solo this trip because Kyle had to work, but that's okay. I, I know quite a few people here, so it'll be fun to meet up with them and chat. This place is totally packed right now. Very busy. This sale is probably one of my favorites because there's usually a lot of high quality horses here and the sale is very organized. I love how Mount Hope runs things. So I'm looking forward to that. Oh my gosh, this is freaking gorgeous. That is so pretty. It's also like 74 degrees right now, which is insane for early March. I just can't believe it, but I always get cold so I'm in a sweatshirt. They also have a ton of equipment and tack and carriages and antiques here too. So I'll try to show you some of those. This is gonna be really fun. I already see one I like. Can't read that from that far. All right, I got my bidding number and my card. The book is so thick. There are a ton of horses here. I'm gonna guess between 700 and 1,000. All right, let's go look around and see what we can find. So more specifically, like I said, I'm looking for a lesson horse. I have quite a few projects. Obviously, I don't mind putting some time and effort into the horses, but I already have a lot on my plate. However, I need one for the program and one to just enjoy. So that's what we're looking for today. This one's pretty. This one's a really nice size and gorgeous, beautiful. I didn't see the number though. She is uh, These are two-year-old Norwegers. Aren't they gorgeous? Okay, we got a lot of horses to look through today. I'm going to show you some of the things I noticed. I really liked this roan. Seemed like a really great size. This one's a little bit younger. Now, I thought this draft cross was beautiful. The only thing that really concerned me is how crusty, aka chunky, the neck is, and there's some fat deposits, but I love the size of this horse. That one was super cute, but I'm worried about like the neck and the fat deposits, but I love a chunk. I love a good chunk of horse, and that one seems so sweet. We have a ton of barns we have to get through, so let's go into another barn. I've seen some cute ones, but so far, nothing that I have to have. I haven't circled any quite yet. I'm just keeping my eye on some. We have hundreds more to look at. Oh my gosh, look at the ponies. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, that's like my dream pony. If I was a kid, this is exactly what I would want. <laughs> and no, I'm not getting a pony. I'm done. So many ponies. That is a cute, look at the forelock. What I typically do at a large auction like this is I make my rounds and I just browse quickly to see if there's any horses that I'm interested in because there's so many, you don't have time to just stop and look and hardcore check out every single one. So that's what we're doing right now. Oh my gosh, you are gorgeous. Look at that, and the feather and the bone. You are so beautiful. You are gorgeous little younger than what I'm looking for. Yeah, yeah he's full gypsy. He's from England. Okay, so she is a four-year-old halflinger gypsy cross, and she's absolutely gorgeous, but not what I'm looking for because, once again, I need a lesson type, okay? Lesson type. Oh my gosh, he has the most beautiful face, and he's, like, really thick and stocky. Five years old. You are super cute. Oh my gosh, seven. Those look decent. As of now, the Appy is out, but we'll see how he moves later. So this is a roan, and you can just tell there's some issues going on. The horse is parked out, their posture is very interesting, and sometimes that can be a sign of pain. Auctions are always hit or miss. There are a lot of decent ones at this sale, but you just really never know what you're getting until you bring it home. So you'll see some really fancy horses, and you'll see some horses that need some work or have some issues. This was a Frisian saddle bred cross. 
You are adorable. Hi. Oh my gosh, this guy is so pretty. <laughs> You're so cute. You are so freaking cute and pretty. Look at him. You're so pretty. And he's like really thick, but he's not absolutely like huge height-wise, but he's big. Oh my god, he's sweet. Okay, we gotta look you up. We gotta look you up. Let's see what you do. Oh my gosh, you are so cute. And he has a tail. Gorgeous. Okay, I really like him. He just has a quiet soul. I don't know, there's something about him. His name is Rancher and this is his description so you can pause and read it. So I love his demeanor and he looks okay physically, but we're going to have to see him ride. So he'll be going out in a little bit. It is an absolutely gorgeous night. Look at the sunset. All the horses look stunning. So this is where they're ridden and driven and you can check them out, see how they are reacting to the environment and see how they're moving soundness wise. Actually, this is another horse that came with Rancher. Super pretty. So I'm just watching a little bit. Like I said, today I'm just kind of keeping an eye out and tomorrow I'm going to be more serious. We're going to walk through the barn and go to the other side of the ring and watch some of the horses for a little bit. So let's check them out. This is a super cute little pony. Oh my gosh, he's a little pinto. That horse looked really nice. Look at this cob. That is a nice gypsy. My goodness, just beautiful. Coming out to the track and just sitting down and watching is really great for finding a horse because sometimes a horse may catch your eye out here because you're seeing them move, you're seeing how they respond versus just walking around and seeing them standing or in a stall. So actually, a lot of the horses seem very well behaved. It is a warm day. There are a ton of people around. So I'm very impressed with the demeanor of a lot of the horses here. So we're going to go back in and check out the other horses. Now, this little roan was beautiful. And he's actually not little. He's probably, I don't know, like 15, 3. And he's gorgeous. He seems really sweet. I talked to the guy for a while and he told me a lot about him. He showed me a bunch of videos of them driving and trail riding super cool well aren't you pretty hi gorgeous a stallion nothing we need but absolutely beautiful your name's kate that's cute look at you you're adorable you're gorgeous <laughs> you're so pretty hi this is one good looking draft cross, just absolutely beautiful, but really big, not quite what I'm looking for. Loved this gray, reminds me of Belle just a little bit, so cute. Okay, this is Rancher, the draft cross that I'm interested in, so we're gonna see him ride. Now, actually, he did pretty well under saddle. I mean, I do like him, but my phone was getting ready to die, so I wanted to make sure I got a few clips of him to show you but I watched him for a while and he doesn't do anything bad or anything wrong, but I did notice he kept looking at things and shying a little bit, which is totally normal. I mean, there's a lot going on here and he looks really good in the videos I took, but just the more I watched him, the more I could tell he was a little weary and just a little heavy in the bridle. And I just, I don't know, there's just something that said I just wasn't quite interested as I was in the beginning and that's okay. But he does seem like a really nice horse. I mean, I think once he's at home, he's going to be absolutely lovely. I just don't think it's exactly what I'm looking for right now. However, his canter is really good for that size of a horse. He's going right into it. But I did notice that the rider was just really holding him back as well. So I just don't want something that's really big, really green, and super forward. So yeah, I'm just going to pass on him. Okay, we're going to check out some of the other horses. Now we're in what's called the tent. So it's just a tent with a bunch of temp stalls. This Shire's legs were all messed up. I mean, it looks like he has like CPL plus scratches. It's getting pretty late now. So we're just going through the barn again, the sweet little baby. And then there was some Pintos and paints and more standard breads. And then there was this Fjord. So spoiler, he ended up selling for 16,000. Isn't that crazy? I didn't get it on camera. So I wanted to tell you. All right, horse lovers, my phone died last night. So sorry I couldn't film anymore, but I basically got everything I wanted to. So I am in Berlin, Ohio, and I am stopping to get coffee before I head back to the horse auction. I absolutely love this town and this area. It is just so beautiful. Everything is so quaint and clean 
and I just love coming here not only for the horses but just for the shops and all of the antiques so if you're ever in this area definitely check it out so I'm getting a frappe here at ginger house coffee so I'm excited okay I got my frappe and now I'm gonna be all caffeinated for the horse auction so let's go also let's talk a little bit about the horses that I saw yesterday so the one really cute like teddy bear one he was like a Belgian cross once I saw him ride, I just wasn't as impressed, to be honest. Now, I know it's a stressful environment, but you have to go based off of what you're seeing at the auction because you just don't know. And he was only four years old. Like everybody wants to sell their three to five year olds where I'm looking for something a little bit older because I have Mushu, I have the two folds, Lumiere's only seven, like he just turned seven in the fall. So I don't need anything super young. You know what I'm saying? So. I haven't quite seen anything where I'm like, I have to buy them, right? But at the same time, I am wanting to buy, like I'm looking for a lesson type. Those are just harder to come by. So a lot of horses are gonna be showing up today. So let's see what we can find. All right, so we're here, we're back. We're gonna go check out the horses. Hope you're excited, horse lovers. It is a gorgeous day. Again, I cannot believe this weather for March. Like it's crazy. It's gonna be like 70 degrees again. I'm in a mood to buy right now, so. <clears throat> We're gonna start off by watching the horses ride and see you know, how they're going, look for soundness, all of that. I really like this one. Seems super quiet. Just gonna keep an eye on that one. That's a nice big one over there. That's gorgeous. I like this one. Ooh, it seems chill. A lot of people ask why do they have tarps and whips and barrels and all that is to show that the horse is desensitized or aka really broke and gentle so that's why they do it okay that black and white paint is chill as a cucumber and he's freaking gorgeous i think he's broke Yeah, he's pretty cute, pretty cute. yeah. Spoiler alert, he went for 25000 so I did not buy him. <laughs> but he's cool. That doesn't really get me too excited with the bull. That horse is adorable, though. And he's not even like. He's like, all right, we're going to go now. Little back jump. <laughs> the auction has officially started, so we're gonna go into the barn. I'm just looking at a couple other horses. Loved her, but she was like 17 hands plus. This big bay was beautiful. Oh my gosh, love his face. Okay. This was the little one I saw outside. I really like this one. It was super chill out there. Okay, so I'm interested in her. We're gonna look her over. So I'm gonna feel all of her legs. And it was so sweet because she went to pick up her hooves with each leg. That's just precious. So her legs feel clean, no swelling. I'm gonna palpate her back. Of course, feel her back legs as well and just look for any lumps or bumps. And you bet your bottom I'm lifting her tail. If you know, you know. I did notice that little scar right there, but it's very superficial. I'm not worried about it. I love her size and her conformation. She's built really well and she's not huge, but she's not super tiny either. But yeah, I mean, horses are gonna have little blemishes. That does not concern me. She moved sound on the track. I don't know, she just seems very sweet and affectionate, and I like her. Okay, I really like her. She seems quiet and sweet, so she'll be coming up in a little bit. You're very beautiful. Her number is 517. I like her description. It's what I'm looking for. And her teeth, it looks like she's more like five or six, and we'll verify that with the dentist, but she seems chill. <laughs> You're absolutely gorgeous. You're so beautiful.
you're driving and you start off, he said, you might notice a little bit of a height, you're warm right out of it. He said, it doesn't affect your body at all. What do you think, horse lovers? Ah, I don't know. What, baby? Very beautiful. Six eighty five. Are you nice? Oh, you are. Hi, baby. You're gorgeous. You are super pretty. Right in the prime of his life, here's a nice big gelding that's got a good recommendation. I really, really like that gray and white mare, so I'm curious what she's going to go for. When I'm looking at purchasing a horse from an auction, I'm not looking at just their color or if they're flashy or pretty. I'm looking at their conformation, their hooves, their eyes, their teeth, their demeanor for lumps and bumps, everything. You want to look the whole horse over. Like this horse had a little bit too much of a sway back for what I personally want to purchase. Now this horse, oh my gosh, like this was a younger horse, probably one or two years old and I feel like this horse was a diamond in the rough honestly if I was in the position to purchase sort of a rescue type at this moment this is the horse I would get he did have a little bit of swelling but he was just beautiful now he's not selling at this sale he'll sell at a different one there's multiple sales going on and he seems more of a loose pen type Anyways, here's the fjord again. Just wanted to come say hi. Now, just so you know, I am sanitizing my hands in between horses, but it doesn't really matter because everybody else is coming up and touching the horses too. So it is what it is, um, but I try to do my best. Look at this one. This one is super pretty too. I mean, I just love looking at all the horses, just being around them. <laughs> this horse is taking a nap. She's not forcing him down. He just laid down and took a nap. I mean, I will say a lot of these Amish folks spend a ton of time with these horses to get them ready for this sale and they train them. There's some really, really good Amish trainers and there's some really, really bad ones, okay? All right, horse lovers, I'm gonna buy that little mare. She is so sweet and I feel like she checks out pretty good. So as long as she doesn't go for a crazy amount of money, she's ours. I just think she's a great size, great build. She's beautiful, kind. She's not gargantuan, but she's not small. Most of my riders can ride her. Um, Kyle could probably ride her too. I mean, she's he'd be on the higher end spectrum of the weight limit for her, but she's stocky, but she's got a butt on her. And um, great size for myself too. So, oh my gosh, it could happen. I'm excited. I'm really excited. I think she'd be a great addition to Free Spirit Equestrian, but once again, you just don't know how it's gonna go in the ring. You don't know how much she's gonna go for. I'm not gonna be stupid and spend a ridiculous amount of money, you know, on an auction horse. So, but I'm still willing to pay, you know, a decent amount. I just don't wanna go too crazy. I mean, I'm not gonna be spending $15,000 on her. I can find something else for that. I mean, and that's just the truth. That's just being practical. I also spoke to her owners a little bit and they have a really good reputation here. And apparently they've ultrasounded her. They've taken her on trail rides, had a lot of miles on her. So that's good. Plus one of my friends knows them and he actually, my friend hauled this horse here for them to sell. So I feel really comfortable about that. And my friend knows him very, very well. So that's another thing. I just feel very comfortable with that purchase if it checks out, you know, price-wise. Okay, I'm gonna head into this tent and check out the horses in here. While we're waiting for Beauty to come up in the sale ring, let's look at the other horses. So there's a bunch of cuties in here. Look at this, this gorgeous Appy. Very pretty. Sometimes when there's so many horses, it can be overwhelming at the sales. And that's why I said, you just have to go through, obviously look at all of them, but figure out which ones are your top interest. This one I thought was beautiful, put together really well, seemed very sweet and curious, gorgeous. 
and there's just so many there's so many that look fantastic look at this young little gypsy oh my goodness and the colors are just phenomenal now i heard she was unhandled till she was four years old and she's four now there are a bunch of roans here today too all right they're on 502 and she is 517 so we're getting close we're getting ready to go in and wait oh fingers crossed there she is put your ramps down Michigan State, great line too. Boy, is he hurting. All oh, my reshuffling in. Hey, down here, try to get 15,000. Now, let it get out. 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 Now, let it
and chill. Beauty, you so happy? You so happy? I can't wait till you come home later. Yeah, baby. It's gonna be awesome. All right, horse lovers, I'm getting ready to head out. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything Free Spirit Equestrian or any updates. And I really hope you're excited about Sleeping Beauty. Also, horse lovers, today I'm wearing my Mustang Mob lipstick, so you can check everything out at the Spirited Horse Boutique. Link in the comments in the description. And that's the way you can support Free Spirit Equestrian. She's such a good girl. And she gives good kisses too. But right now she's busy stuffing her face. <laughs> All right, I'll see you late tonight, girly girl. You got hay and water, they're gonna take care of her. All set. Ugh, I can't leave because I just don't wanna leave you. All right, I'm actually leaving this time. I just wanted to keep saying bye to her. She's so cute, I'm so excited.